Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. You guys, I got Botox, can you tell? Look, when I try to move my eyebrows, they stay. It actually turned out so good. I'm obsessed, look at that. I have a full story time on my Botox experience down below. Check out my new YouTube channel if you wanna see it. I give you all the tea and information on the Botox and I recommend some stuff. So if you're interested, go check it down in my new YouTube channel. But anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna be honest with you guys right here right now. I need to get out of here Like I honestly am just in the mood to unplug and get out of here I'm sick of just sitting at the house watching movies playing video games spending hours and hours on my phone It's really hard because my full-time job is being on my phone like that's literally my job And so I need to get out of here and whenever I start feeling this way I crave going to my hometown because I don't know if any of you guys know this or not, but I was born in a tiny town in the middle of nowhere. Like growing up and stuff, it was like we were just outside in the farmlands, having fun, hanging out, and I'm just craving it. I miss it so much. So I booked a little farmhouse for the day, for the night, I guess, and my husband and I, we're going to the farmhouse. There's a hot tub, it's gonna be so fun. So I thought I'd take you guys along with us. Oh. Isn't it weird now when I move my face like this doesn't move? See, and that's why I have wrinkles is because I have such a, when I like make these faces. Anyways, now it's just stuck. Maybe, uh... We're just gonna go unplug and I'm so excited. We're just gonna sit in the farmhouse, maybe a hot tub, grab some dinner and just get away for a second. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> But before we head to the farmhouse, please, right now, as you're sitting there on your fat ass, click the thumbs up button and click it good because it helps me out and it makes it so I can keep making videos for you and I can keep posting for you. So just, guys, literally just click that button. Just click it. It's like, it is so sick. Simple. Just push the button and it would mean the world to me. I love you guys so much and let's go. Let's go to the farmhouse. I'm excited I'm ready for my food <laughs> We're at Burger King. We're finally trying the five dollar your way. I'm excited We keep seeing these commercials of Burger King's five dollar meal. You get fries, chicken nuggets, Whopper and a small drink for five bucks So we thought we'd stop before we head down Oh, that looks so good. They even have buffalo sauce. Wendy's doesn't have that shit. Okay, I got a Whopper. One, two, three. Mm. Mm. I love fast food. It's so bad, but I love it. This buffalo sauce is insane. It's like creamy. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Mm. That's so good. I feel like we should start coming to Burger King. We should get a bunch of those and just make wings and yeah. Go to Burger King, get the five dollar value meal. So good. We just arrived at the farm. We're driving up to where we're staying. Look, guys, we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Isn't this crazy? Look how much. Here we are. There it is. Let's go see it. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Oh, you are so cute. Oh, he's purring already. Hi. Guys, this is so cute. I'm so excited. Whoa, okay. Look, we're in here. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Look at the cute kitchen. This is the bed. See, this is gonna be fun. Can you even fit in the shower? Wait, stand in there. <laughs> You're like Buddy the Owl. <laughs> That's hilarious. You'll it'll, just have to, it'll work. It'll this work. sink is so cool. See, this will be fun for the night. <laughs> it's comfy, huh? Yeah. Well, this will be fun for the night. We have to go get all of our stuff. Okay, we just got into the farmhouse. I'm gonna show you guys around because it's super fun. Oh. This is the kitchen. Super just cute and little and perfect. I love the countertops. Super, super cute. We've got a sink with a little window out here. The hot tub is literally right there. Can you guys see that? That's the hot tub. This is the living room. We got the bathroom. Be kind and humble. 
Super, super cute. This is where we can sit and eat our breakfast. See the view. Look at us just living out on the farm. Wow. See how free you feel? It's getting the hell out of there. And then here's the bedroom that we get to sleep in tonight. You guys, we're gonna have the best hot tub moment in here tonight. I'm so excited. Right underneath the stars. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. But we've got a friendly little kitty. We have kitties at our house. Okay, one last thing about this Airbnb that we are in. There's a book about like the history of this farmhouse. This is what it used to be. It was built in 1918. That's over a hundred years old and that's what it used to look like. Is that not crazy? And then they renovated it into this beautiful thing. My husband keeps hitting his head on the door. And I've slipped three times. <laughs> Cause he's taller than the door, see? <laughs> he has to duck to get in. Hey, come here, kitty. He literally has to duck to get in. But the door is really short, so if you guys ever stay here, be careful, because you will hit your head on the door. Another fun thing about this place is in the summer, I mean, it's freaking freezing cold out here and it's winter time, but in the summer, there's a whole like plot of land that you can hang out on. So like the hot tub's right there. They've got a grill so you can grill. There's a picnic area. That's all like fireplaces. And then it's like a gardening area right there. Oh kitty, okay. The cat is just coming on my lap right now. You just wanna be cuddled. Oh my god, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so sad. He just wants a friend. Are you okay, bubbles? Oh, that's a good kitty, you're so friendly. Yeah, you're so friendly, huh? Yeah, I definitely want to come back in the summer because a fire out here roasting marshmallows and hot dogs would be such a vibe. And like staying here for like three or four nights would be so fun. We're only staying for a night, but like staying for a couple nights would be so fun. Oh, and this kitty. Are you guys kidding me? Look at this cat. Hi, sweet friend. I love you. I already love you so much and I just met you. Are you cold? Is that the problem? Yeah. But guys, like, it's so nice already being here and just being away from the city. Like, it's quiet. You can hear a dog barking, but, like, that's nothing crazy. It's so peaceful out here. This is exactly what I needed. I just needed to get away from my phone, from technology, and just, like, chill. Like, this moment right now is everything. <laughs> Just hanging out with this cat. I'm excited to hot tub too. That's what I'm really excited for. What's this? They've got Uno, so we can play Uno. Oh gosh. And poker size playing cards. Oh, just cards. Oh yeah, we could play all kinds of games. We could play games tonight. That would be fun. Won't that be fun? Here are the movies we get to pick between. Inside Out, Facing the Giants. I don't know what that's about. It's a football one. You might like that. October Sky. No idea what that is. Matilda and Wonder. Those are so random. I know. We got waters at Walmart and I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Ugh. But then it made me remember we got Red Bulls and I'm so excited. Y'all know it's my favorite drink. They're the sugar free kind. This is a moment in the farmhouse. So cheers to you guys. <coughs> cheers to the farmhouse. <coughs> and cheers to America. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Bob, do you want yours? Also, well, this is a fact. Okay, wait. I don't know if I told this channel that. I told my other channel it, so if you're following my other channel, then you already know. But if you're following this channel, then you probably don't know. But anyways, I'm going to tell you right now is what I'm saying. So, my husband and I booked a trip for our honeymoon because we never went on a honeymoon. We got married, and then that was it. We just, like... Moved into our new house, and that was literally it. We booked a trip. We're going to a tropical land. Is it considered tropical? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We're going to a tropical land, and the reason why we're so excited for this little farmhouse getaway is because when we booked it, we were like, oh my gosh, when we're staying in the farmhouse, we will be exactly halfway until we get to go to our trip for our honeymoon. I'm so excited. Cause we booked our, we booked the trip like three weeks ago. So really what I'm saying is we only have three weeks left until we go on our honeymoon. You guys, I'm gonna vlog it. I'm so excited. But I'm like scared to tell you guys where we're going. Should I just tell them now or should I wait? No. 
Should I tell him now? Okay, maybe I should have you guys guess, but then I'll probably just tell you in the next video. So, guess in this video where you think we're going. But then it's so awkward because they're gonna put these amazing places they're like, you're going to Tahiti. <laughs> or like, you're going to the Maldives. Maldives. It's nothing that great. <laughs> It's going to be way fun, but it's nothing that bouge, okay? Well, actually, it's pretty bouge, though. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, I will tell you one thing about it. I got us first-class seats Whoa. on the plane. <laughs> I've never flown first-class in my life, but I am so excited, and honestly, I think I'm going to make it a rule in my life, which is so unrealistic. It's not actually going to happen, but I'm going to try to make it. I only fly if it's first-class. <laughs> Because I can't. I We're hate so flying. Never going I literally on. hate flying, period. Can't stand it. I've never done first class, so hopefully it's a better experience. And I'm excited, you guys. I'm going to vlog it. I'm going to take you guys along the journey. It's going to be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so, yeah. Guys, it's so quiet and peaceful out here. The sun's about to set, but it's so peaceful. You don't realize, like... Even where I live, like it's not even considered like the city, I would say. It's a suburb outside of the city, but you don't realize how loud it is there until you come out here and you're like, wow, so quiet. It's so nice. Like there's something really healing about it, I feel like. It's just so calming. I don't know. It's also like really weird to be out here where I like, have some great memories of like growing up and stuff and just to think that like that's over like that was a chapter of my life and everyone's moved on and gone to bigger better things like it's just so weird Okay hey guys, this was the neighborhood that I was raised in. And right here. This one. Right there. That's my old house. Whoa. There it is. So weird that's to see that. So weird. That's where I learned to ride a bike. That's where I learned how to speak English. There's wild turkeys in the road. Should we get our Thanksgiving dinner early? <laughs> Get the turkeys for Thanksgiving next year! Rawr, rawr, rawr. They're big. Yeah, they are. are those wild turkeys uh -huh. or what? Hi, turkeys. Oh, they're Googling or whatever. Googling? <laughs> what do you call it? Here it is, guys! <laughs> you don't understand. This is the coolest place in America. It's just a little shack, but it's so fun. They have so many drinks. Gosh, it's Taylor Swift's tour bus. <laughs> Holy shit. It's Taylor Swift's tour bus in Ephraim Farmland. Oh my gosh. So this was the grocery store that I grew up shopping at, but it's closed. It's out of business. Why did they close it? You can't even shop there anymore. And there used to be a red box here and we would come and get movies because it was like the best yeah. place to get a movie. Nope. This is the only hotel they have. Which is not Called the Willow was... Creek and we are not staying there. I'm kind of scared of it, honestly. Yeah, Look at it. it. Okay, you guys, this is the Walmart that I would come to when I was little. I came to this Walmart. I can't speak English. Came to this Walmart without pants on. Completely forgot to wear pants. I'm walking in the store, and my mom's like, Kyle, you don't have pants on. So she had to put me in the car and buy me shorts in here. So we're gonna go in and just reminisce on that moment. We're gonna hot tub in a second. I'm so excited because it's nighttime now. So it's really pitch black out there. And we're gonna go sit in the hot tub. <laughs> How are you like in the farmhouse? Well, the water's cold. I bumped my head twice and I slipped three times. That sounds like a you problem. We've been in here for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Yeah, almost 45 minutes now. Wow, my hair looks great. It's so relaxing though. We're in the middle of nowhere. It's literally silent out here. Except for there is like a bunch of sirens. Yeah, there's like a highway down the way and it looks like someone crashed or there's an accident because there was literally like 20. Look at my eyebrows, they're different heights. Do you oh, see yeah. that? Oh. Wow, from the oh, from the boat. Look at that! <laughs> what do I do? 
Oh my gosh, what do I do? I can't go out like this. It's from the Botox. I can't even move this one. <laughs> Look, it's not going down. <laughs> Look, it's stuck. <laughs> I wanna... What do I do? You don't do anything. Do I need to... Okay, I think I fixed it. No, I didn't. Look. <laughs> oh, no. How did I not notice that? Well, I think the hot tubs... Are you allowed to sit in hot tubs after you get Botox? <laughs> so, we're just going to sit out here as long as we literally can. I'm getting hot, though, so I have to sit out for a second. Yeah. And we're just talking about life. And then we also were talking about what the heck we're going to do with our backyard when we get home. Because we need to lay cement and get grass. But it's expensive and... <sighs> wow, big yawn. And we can't decide, like, what's worth doing this spring versus next spring. And my eyebrows aren't lined up, so... Hey, guys. So we just been sitting in the hot tub <laughs> for days. <laughs> and, you know, it's just very warm in here. You can't do the Botox <laughs> face. You got it? Okay. Grumpy Wait, face, can... grumpy face, with your eyebrows, like, Ugh, I'm mad at you. Relax your forehead. <laughs> and then you, this, these muscles, you push down. Can you push these ones down? Mm-hmm. Oh, you're going to, you have to, can you move your nostrils? Mm -mm. Anyway, I'm really excited for my birthday. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to look into it. I'll tell you guys later. But I'm hoping and praying that it's a magnificent day. Look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Okay, yeah. You are doing it. How did you do that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now, do your eyebrows down. There you go. You're doing it. You're doing it. I'm gonna laugh. You're doing the tox face. You did it. We were just watching La La Land out on the couch. And we both fell asleep. So we're gonna go to bed. I'm so tired right now. But um, I'll be back tomorrow. So definitely come check out my vlog tomorrow. Oh my gosh. My double chin is so bad because we ate so much today. Ugh. Anyway, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another vlog. So, see what we do in the farmhouse tomorrow. Love ya. Bye.